Amateur and professional contest season so far has provided some surprises among new and impressive bodybuilders. You might remember a couple of months back when we went to Tallahassee, Florida to meet Iver Sali, a student at Florida State University who is planning to compete in his first open level competition. Well, this month, Iver entered the Florida heavyweight division and won, easily outweighing his nearest rival by over 10 pounds. But Florida had plenty of other surprises, and our reporter, David Arroyos, was there to report the action. And it was a bodybuilding championship that you would expect from the Sunshine State. Contestants from all regions of Florida converged on the James L. Knight Center in Miami, with no contestant knowing who else was competing in the division ahead of time. First to compete was the teenage contestants with two outstanding class winners. First was an 18-year-old lightweight from Miami who has been only training seriously for a year. Sean Lopez is still a high school senior, so bodybuilding serves sort of like his varsity sport. Competing for the first time, Sean shows great genetic potential and is positive about his future in bodybuilding. He told me that he was dieting a little too long, almost six months, but plans to keep a stricter diet throughout the year so that the final weeks wouldn't be so devastating in body mass loss. Because of these changes, he plans to compete as a middleweight next year, and at only 5'4", Sean should look like a completely different bodybuilder. I train real hard, no matter for the overall, basically. I've been training for my weight class. I want to be the best at my weight class. If I won the overall tonight, I would have been much happier. The light heavyweight and overall winner was Jeff Poulin from Fort Myers. Jeff is accustomed to winning, having scooped up all four of his past teenage level competitions. But after five years of consistent and serious bodybuilding, Jeff obviously would like to make his passion a career. The 19-year-old trained sometimes with another Florida prospect, Sylvester Solomon, who helped Jeff with his posing ability in the final weeks before the Florida. But generally, Jeff considers himself a self-taught, trial-and-error type of bodybuilder. And at 5'9 and 195 pounds, Jeff has seemed to found the right training and diet combination. This is a special deal, uh, you know, state title. State title is a very prestigious title to win, and it was about the toughest competition I've faced yet so far. And um, hopefully Texas will be a very good competition too, and I feel I'll be ready. I'll do very well there also. It was the men's open division that everyone went crazy over. It started out with a tremendous bantamweight winner, Jose Morales, who at 23 years old was competing for the first time. Jose possessed great body symmetry and weighing 145 pounds was in rock hard condition. Having spent three years in the army, Jose now attends college as a business major, but devotes the rest of his day hitting the weights. And although he was a bantamweight, Jose really impressed the audience since he knew just how to present his small body but make it look like a hundred pounds heavier. Winning the light heavyweight class was a Marine Corps Aviation Operations Specialist. Alex Hosso from Jacksonville has been training for over eight years and started competing as a teenager in hometown San Antonio, Texas. Alex stands 5'8 and weighs 195 pounds, but his thick muscle development jumped on every pose beyond what 195 pounds might look like on any other bodybuilder. He attributes his density to a heavy, almost dangerously heavy powerlifting type of bodybuilding. He feels it's worth the risk, especially since the power movements he performs, like squats, barbell rows, and deadlifts, don't ruin his body symmetry. Alex won the Junior Florida last year and took the year off to prepare for the Florida. He tried carbohydrate depleting in the final days into the Junior Florida and found it just didn't work, leaving his body flat. This time, however, Alex kept his carbohydrates high throughout his contest diet. 
set some goals for myself and I decided that uh, I wanted to win one comp or place in one competition and I ended up uh, winning the overall and uh, three in a row here and it's very surprising and it's, I think it's very unusual but uh, I think I got lucky but I think I worked for it. Alex seemed to have calculated his competition schedule well and his plans for the rest of the year include the Junior Nationals. If you remember last month, we featured a giant 265-pound heavyweight training while at school in Tallahassee, Florida. Well, Iver Sally dieted down to nearly 240 pounds and devastated the heavyweight division of the Florida State Championships. He was ripped and kept a Super V taper to his back. His width was the broadest in the contest and truly was a spectacle to see on stage. Iver told me that he felt he could have been a bit sharper, however, because he was retaining subcutaneous water too close to contest time. But that was noticeable from the audience, and Iver's huge size and muscle thickness was overwhelming. I was pretty confident about the heavyweight, yeah, because I didn't think anybody would have my, uh, my size and be cut. But uh, I was just a little worried about the, uh, a light heavyweight or a real ripped middleweight. I didn't think the light heavy was really that much more cut than me, but that's just the way it goes. Iver has professional bodybuilding genetics and the disciplined mind to become a success in whatever he directs his efforts, whether academic or athletic. In the overall, it was Alex Hasso who took top honors, narrowly beating out Iver. The two bodybuilders were so close, but Alex seemed to be a little more defined than Iver. Both men should become great bodybuilders, and the Florida State Championships was just the beginning. We'd like to thank John Carl Meese, owner of Sun Gyms in Miami, for promoting such a hotly competitive show. From Miami, Florida, I'm David Arroyos, reporting for American Muscle Magazine. Alex Hasso may be headed to the Junior Nationals, but if you listen to heavyweight Mark Banter of Sherville, Indiana, you might get the impression that no one else should be competing. And if you were lucky enough to see last year's Junior Nationals in Toledo, you know it was one fantastic competition. This year, it'll be in Chicago, just across the border from Mark's home. Mark finished third in the heavyweights last year, so he's had one thing on his mind since then, to win the title in 1988. From the day after that show, I set my sights on this show again this year. So I, I really felt that going into it, I had 12 months pre preparation. Where other competitors get ready two, three months before a show, I picked it out a year in advance. Started training very intense for it a year in advance. Having already competed in the juniors, Marks feels that he has an extra advantage this year and will use it to his benefit. This year, they're going to have to train to beat me. I'm not training to beat them. I'm training to beat myself. I'm going to go in in the best possible condition I can go in, and they have to show up in better condition to win. It's as simple as that. Mark has won almost every junior title in the Midwest in both powerlifting and bodybuilding. Now 21, he started lifting at 14 years old and knew even then to reach his goals, he must be self-disciplined and dedicated. You see these guys that are in there and you see what they did to themselves. And you know that it takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication. But you yourself know that if you apply yourself mentally and make your mind, set your mind on a certain goal, that later on, okay, you know, so he's big. Well, I can be just like him and nothing can stop me. Being this close to contest time and having prepared for a year, Mark has done everything possible to reach and attain his goal of winning the Junior National Championships. The only thing that can mess me up now is me. With four weeks to go, the only, the only way I could mess up is mentally break down and lose it now towards the end. And that's not going to happen. I've been ready for a long time, and I'm ready to win now.